the main thing, is the, the nice little scratch that you left on the, on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Probably about time I got a scratch. It's a fucking long one too. It's fine, everything's fine. So, it's future Chris here. I'm editing this video about scratches and it's kind of boring. <laughs> I'm just trying to think to myself, how on earth can I make this video more engaging because it's still something I want to put out there because this is something I was concerned about getting into four wheel driving is scratches and everything but it's not the most engaging content so um, I'm just going to throw some sick beats over the top of everything so see what happens. Welcome to another episode of Get That Bread. Today, I'm gonna try and remove the scratches from the side of the Navara. So if you guys are anything like me, your ute will be your daily driver and having a scratch down the side of it just sort of niggles away at you. It's one of those things where you bought your car to go for wheel driving and you know it's gonna get scratches. Um, that's just a given. So there is actually certain types of scratches that will come off your four wheel drive, uh, which today I've got a few on the Navara that I'll attempt to get rid of, but I guess one thing to point out is that it can only be a surface blemish, I guess you can call it, it's not really a scratch, so a scratch would actually be uh, where you've chipped the paint off and you've actually put an indent in the vehicle, whereas this is more of a blemish on the surface, I guess you could say. The rule of thumb that I just googled uh, is that apparently if you rub your fingernail down the scratch if you if your fingernail gets caught on the scratch then it, it's going to be too deep and you can't really buff that out so um, if it's not like that though and you can rub your fingernail past it and you don't get caught then you should be able to buff it out now i've got here with me some turtle wax uh, scratch and swell remover now without fail my dad gives this to me every single christmas so i have used this on previous vehicles a couple of times and it does work pretty well um, so I'm gonna yeah, give it a whirl and see what happens. So directions of use, so you should always wash and dry your car, ensure the vehicle surface is cool to touch, uh, don't use in direct sunlight, shake the product well. Then you pour this onto a damp cloth or foam applicator and apply to problem area. And then you rub that area with some firm pressure until the blemish disappears. And then buff leave light with a microfiber towel. It seems simple enough. So I've got my scratch and swell remover. I'll use this to apply that and then I'll uh, use the microfiber cloth to go over it after that. So yeah, let's get out into the shed and uh, I'll give you guys a look at this scratch. All right, so it's a little bit hard to see on the GoPro, but the scratch actually travels the entire length of the nav. So let's attempt to get rid of that, that scratch. So I just dampened my cloth a little bit. Shake well before use. Cool, but yeah, let's see what happens. Start up the back first with this one. Working my way along the scratch, Just putting a bit of pressure on.
pretty good. Yeah, right there, he's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So you can see there's another one a little bit lower there, so yeah, I might just attack the rest of these and show you the end result, but yes, yeah, I'll up it. spots that I still need to go over again but the majority of that even the couple of spots that are on the tail ID are gone. The age old question should you worry about scratches after four wheel driving? Depends. Depends how deep they are. Um, obviously if they're super deep you're gonna have to start sanding and repainting and all that sort of stuff but just your, your surface stuff. Yeah. Don't have a care in the world. Now, full disclaimer, I'm not a detailer, anything like that. I haven't painted a car before in my life, so just a dude in his garage, giving you my opinion on what I do to keep the thing looking a little bit tidier. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Get That Bread. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Any questions you've got, chop them down below. And I nearly forgot, this is for Russell. Bloody ripper day here in Toowoomba. About 20 degrees, mate. So spring is here. Catch you in the next one. Peace.